Spider. Spider. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to season three, episode twenty-five, brought to you by Roll Twenty. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Yider. Uh, uh, spider. <laughs> Blackfoot Ferret, thank you for the leap bits. Ebon Sky, thank you for the leap bits. Rippington, thanks for resubbing for 20 whole months. Skyjin, hi. Yeah. Thanks hi. for the 19. Um, yeah. Ben Maru, thanks for the 777. Uh, will today be the day that, that cheeky little brat gets his nose broken? I don't think it's. Don't put a spider there. Get that spider out of here. I still see it. <laughs> I can't push it any further, right? <laughs> um, Broken Geek, thanks for the follow. And Seven Grand Sanger, thanks for the follow as well. Um, let's hop right into it. Willie, where can they find you? They can find the Willy Boo at the Willy Boo. Fun posting online and didn't prepare a rhyme this time, unfortunately. It worked. Congrats. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, I've got nothing... New to report just yet. Um, today is the one year anniversary of Arcadia, so pick that up if you haven't seen that yet. Um, and I should have something else in Arcadia coming up in the next couple of months. So. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Connor, where can they find you? <laughs> Swallow your food, then talk! to be calling this early. Did you say early? <laughs> Alright, moving on. Gaijin, where can they find you? <laughs> oh boy, let me tell you about some things going on in Gaijin's life. Uh, you can find me on twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Get that bitch out of here! I don't want to see her. She's already got my tail, she already got my soul. Um, Get that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so yeah, this weekend, you. this weekend, big, big deal, everyone. Uh, 7 p.m. US Central, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Capcom actually asked me to help promote their Huntathon. So yeah. basically how it works is that for a group of people, every two gifted subs that you drop, they will give you a piece of um, DLC, like uh, armor or voice or, or whatever. They'll give you, they'll, they'll give you a, a bit of DLC, which is a pretty good deal because that stuff's usually like five bucks anyway. So you're literally being gifted stuff to support so uh, please be there for that um i'm doing it i know nyanners is in it i believe there's a whole bunch of people doing it so please swing by the week of stream by the way monster hunter rise on pc it is damn gorgeous uh, i know a lot of people are like well i don't want to have to spend the hours and hours to regrind wear the special armor and you'll beat everything in the village quest in like three hours i i, I kid you not um Aside from that, uh, I'm working on another Monster Hunter Rise video talking about the Bisha Tin this time. That silly little fruit throwing monkey uh, has turned into a 17 minute video. I don't want to kill myself. No, you, not you. Oh, you oh, chose oh, oh, this. Oh. You chose no, this. No, no, I sure saw I did. you be like, Jeru? it's going to be a seven minute long video, but I keep finding things. Yeah, but Sherry, you see the problem. Sherry, you see the problem is that if I don't mention everything, there's gonna be comment after comment after comment after comment. You forgot this. You forgot that. No, bitch, I didn't forget. I just didn't want to put it in because the video is already a half hour long. You should. So, you should start your video off like that. Just be like, there's I, more, yeah. but I don't. I don't have the time for this. But I don't care. Like putting it in. So, so. Uh, if you want to hear stories about crabs decapitating monkeys and everything you could ever want to know about Tengu, be sure to check out that video. It's probably not going to be out this weekend like I thought, because again, it's 17 minutes long and it's sponsored, which means uh, it's going to take more time for people to okay it. But you're so also thinking, doing Capcom stuff, so it makes sense. Yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be Tuesday before it's out for everyone. That's very, that's much later than I wanted to, but, you know, I also had my, uh, 5G upgrade and some other stuff that kept me away from work, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Eric, where can they find you? They can find me right here, and if anybody can guess what snack I'm eating based on the crunch, uh, you win. What do they win? Uh, that sounds like, um, 
pork rinds or Cheetos or something puffy but crunch. Oh my god. Yes, Cheetos. Booyah! <laughs> I was gonna actually indulge this and gift whoever got it right a gift sub, but uh, congrats, Gaijin. You already have a gift sub, so. <laughs> Can, I get an extra D Can I get an extra D6 of hero points, Willie? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Six hero points. Fuck? No, an extra D six of hero points. One D six, uh, not six. I like that it went from not even something I can grant you to Willie. Can you do this? And then this is ink did it. What? Uh. Uh. And Connor, where can they find you? Uh, now that my mouth is uh, no longer. Uh, Whoa. Connor, we can't hear you, buddy. Why are you, are you sure? so quiet? I don't know. <laughs> I just on, put bro. you up to 200. I'm going to turn you back down so I don't regret this in three seconds. Okay. Okay. I'm not. Connor never gets landed. Com slash distortion devil where nope. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays. What the fuck? <laughs> I had to turn it back up again. You were fine, like... Before I started, they oh. can Ooh. find me <laughs> on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Devil, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sunday. It's hit or miss. Sorry, Connor. I don't know what's up with your mic. Yeah, you're fit. very quiet. It's very quiet. Why is Grievous here again? Hello there. <laughs> he doesn't Hello even there. say it! <laughs> Kenobi! <laughs> Fucking General Kenobi. Um, heads up, for, heads up for the viewers. Arkoff uh, got his 5G yesterday, so he's uh, under the weather today. So he will not be joining us. So Connor will most likely be playing him. Connor, do the Great. thing, do the thing, do the thing, do the thing. I will be playing the part of the thought of sign right, I tell you what. <laughs> I'm gonna do him like this and no one can stop me. He's gonna be gonna <laughs> kill. <laughs> we all agreed upon this before stream started. <laughs> uh, so yeah. All right. I'm well, here. Then. Welcome. Where can we find you? I don't know, man. I got stuck playing Fortnite. I'm sorry. What's your catchphrase? What? What's your catchphrase? What? What, what's your catchphrase? what is your catchphrase? What? It's That's probably catchphrase. another win. Ugh, big sigh. Can't believe I won every game. Another chicken dinner. I was saying what is my catchphrase. Uh... <laughs> You mean on Fortnite? Or just in general? In general. <laughs> it's a large large, noise. Yeah. It. <laughs> mm. Good. So we have Marge Cricket and Hank Hillville Tata. I can't talk like Marge though. There's a difference. We're the we're the entire Fox lineup uh, of our characters. Oh, what does that make me then? <clears throat> American Family Dan guy? Dan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, USA! I got a feeling that it's gonna be a wonderful day. Um, Hill taught us, oh god. <laughs> what is my catchphrase? I know I have one. I've, I've, I've said something multiple times. <laughs> Chat would know better than me. Anyway. Well then, when we last left our heroes... Oh, I, I better Stop. do this one. This was kind of a me-heavy episode that one time. I agree. Oh. Uh, considering my notes only say, like, three lines, yeah. Good job! Okay, so anyway, we were in... 
We were in the area, so we decided to go check out on this uh, this fellow named Clamp, who apparently knew my great grandpap, uh, Haruhito. So we ended up in uh, Lake of the Ice Mountains uh, to the northeast, and uh, it was really weird because you know you think Clamp and it's gonna be some kind of old hermit. No, it's literally a, a giant man thing in a clam, huge clam. Though so, uh, apparently. Uh, he did, ha in fact, have the drum, but I had to prove my worth because, you know, we always gotta prove our worth one way or another. And so I, I had to remember an old song that Grandpa used to play that could relax the mightiest of beasts. And, uh, so yeah, I, I said I was all for it and everything was fine and whatnot. And then, and then a, a clam, clam jumped out and apparently there was this Draco Lich skull. And boy, was he not having a good time at the time. So, I had to throw up a wall of force, I, I had to bring up an ensemble, and I had to lull him back to sleep. Uh, apparently, Viltonis was just having the time of his absolute life. Uh, that, that was great. Uh, because uh, the Draco Lich would summon a bunch of Skelemen. You know, it, it, it's a good time, it's a good time. But, uh, I, I thought it would be a little bit more harrowing, but, uh, we, we made it through. And, uh, yeah, now I got Great Grandpap's drum, and... Cricket, I think you're gonna love this thing. Oh, I'm very excited. So, did did you ever want to just hear a wonderful uh, a battle litany, and then all of a sudden you just get the urge to attack two more times? Oh my god, I love attacking, especially oh, yeah, gonna, more than once. Yeah, you're gonna be you're, you're gonna be attacking all the time. I mean, Killian, if you want to, that's completely fine, but, but Harrow, you can you can only do the sneaky thing once per turn, so it'd be kind of a waste. Mm. What's it like attacking more than once? <laughs> oh, I'll, what's it I'll like let's... doing a bajillion damage? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Feels good, man. Pretty cool. Uh. I mean, first of all, you gotta make the fireball in your hand, and then you have to throw it. That's <laughs> the pain. I can sort of do that, but not as well. I just miss a lot. I, I have to work on my aim, I guess. Hey, Viltonis, what's wrong with you? you? You look a little under the weather. I've got something in my throat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. Uh, hmm. All right. I think that's all the. I, I, I think that's all that that happened. Which leaves us in our current situation. Oh yeah, this noodly octopus thing just came up and was like tickling cricket in the ear or something. Yes. Look at it, it's totally tickling our ear. I don't like it. Right. Um, I have the last text that I wrote down here. The air feels dense. It's lightly hazy. It's become very difficult to hear. Like everything is just super tight at the moment. But all Cricket gets is a dulcet whisper in her ear. Dear Pride, of course you survived. Why are you Which banging? brings us to now. <laughs> <laughs> so so do we do do we see this be tentacled individual? So you don't get a good look at this individual. Um, at most, you can kind of make out the movements of a single tentacle wriggling slowly. But other than that, she kind of blends into the haze around you. Do I see them? You still only get that sort of shape, that silhouette. But it feels very familiar. Uh, I swipe at it, I guess, with my Before sword. You do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> she puts a single tentacle at your snout. Oh, wait. If any of us becomes hostile, we all die instantly. I just came to check in. Pride. 
I attack any. No, I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Roll 46, drop one. <laughs> Cricket puts the sword away. Oh, very good. Very good. You kind of like. You don't hear her steps, but you can kind of see the motion of her kind of moving around to your front. Mm. You look soft. Kirky doesn't say anything. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You know, you interfering with all the giants is really shaking up all of our contracts. He took out the Duke before I could move him. <laughs> Did a bit of a sloppy job, though. Cricket. He didn't even kill that young giant in the mountain. That's new for you. I don't know what you're talking about, but we were under a contract to murder everyone. You weren't. But I was. No! No! And then <laughs> someone got <laughs> <laughs> and everyone dies. <laughs> so, one moment. Yeah, go handle that. There you go. I was like hearing clunking and stuff, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and then just, no! <laughs> <laughs> that dog is in trouble. <clears throat> in the dog house. <clears throat> At least the song's jamming. You guys are so fast with the memes. How are there already more? Post them, post them, post them, post them, post them. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was eating some gooey butter cake. Oh, it sounds good. What? <laughs> I feel like I'm going deaf because I feel like I can't hear half of you guys. Should I? Should I yell? No, I can hear you, Gaijin. You're one of the few. I can hear Eric too. It's just Connor and Willie. Let's see. The usual suspects. Yeah, the usual. The usual suspects. <laughs> All right. Um, Quiet Connor and Whispering Willie. Was that the neighbors? No, that was. Uh... Hang on. How am I? My, how am I now? Fantastic. You sound good. Better. Better. Yeah. Oh, damn it. I know it. <laughs> oh. I turned down. I turned down my volume to record a meme earlier, and it never went back up. Oh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, that was probably it because you're much better now. <clears throat> okay, good. Right, all right. Getting myself back into. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, you lost it. <clears throat> Who are you? <laughs> you don't remember me. Hmm. Well, that certainly makes sense, doesn't it? Although I don't know anyone who could forget lust. <laughs> she kind of worms in between you and Gaijin. Uh, Cricket's making the most grimacing face. Like, <laughs> lust. So, can we still not see this? You get the motions, but you don't you can't quite see the person. Can they hear her then? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, what's that wet thing touching my arm? Ew, 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 get away. Mm. 
put seriously. Why didn't you kill him? <clears throat> you would have before. Why not now? Hmm. Was it necessary? Unnecessary? Has that really stopped you before? Yeah, but uh, wasn't getting paid for murdering children. And the kid wasn't the dick, so you know maybe he didn't deserve it. <sighs> didn't deserve it. Uh, I should bring you back. Is there any tentacles near Cricket's feet? Nothing near your feet. Um, <laughs> you're really tall, though, so it might be closer to uh, your hip. My hip? Okay. Yeah. You're still in giant cat lady form. Oh, no, I wasn't asking how tall sh they were. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> But yeah, no, she absolutely has a tentacle near your hip. Just swat it. <laughs> Cricket grabs her tentacle. Ooh. Careful. And then pulls her in, like the dramatic, like, dancing pose, you know, where they... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Now this is more your speed. You really can't remember me? <clears throat> mm. No. I don't she know who you are. She caresses your face. But you ain't my type, that's for sure. And she spins you off. <clears throat> you know you hurt greed by not coming back. I don't know who greed is. Looks a little bit like your uh, handsome purple friend over here. Uh, whoa. <laughs> Back it up. <laughs> I got enough crazy going on. I don't need this. <laughs> I can see it, right? <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um... You know how the spy has that weird sort of like translucent sort of glimmer to him when he disappears? Uh, yeah. Something like that. Do they have a particular scent on them? <sighs> what does octopus smell like? Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Bad. <laughs> and Inked. deflated. <laughs> Probably salty is what you get. Well, I don't know what business you have here. I know you have business with the fans. Just one of them. Only one? You aren't, and I quote, ready to head back into Waterdeep, end quote. Yeah, just one. Why? This is just a warning. If you're not going to come back to the Fangs, then do not interfere. Or else I'll need to. I don't know who you are, but I don't appreciate you threatening me or my friends. <laughs> she turns around, looks at Killian. Mm. No. Perhaps I shouldn't reveal myself yet, then. That's fine. 
Well, if you're gonna make threats towards me, I'll return one. I don't know do about have? the rest of the fangs, but keep seven away from me and my party. <laughs> If Seven dies, I come after you next. Considering I don't know who you are, I'm not afraid of that threat. That's fine. You know what? That is fine. She looks over at the line of Danzan, Viltatus, and Killian. Yeah. Kind of extends <laughs> a tentacle. Another <laughs> <laughs> game. <laughs> I'll take this one out first, then that one. Come for the purple one. Spin back around for the hairy one. Yeah, and you freaking I'll leave wish! You alas, dear pride. Cricket, do you uh, need any help kicking this thing's butt? Ooh, I'd love that. Yeah. She's kind of smug attack smiles. Me right now. Do it. <laughs> Do it as it moves away. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, nerd. <laughs> That's like an attack of opportunity, right? <laughs> she also did mention earlier that uh, if you attack, then everyone dies. Yeah, but she's fucking lying. Yeah, she's a liar. Can I, yeah, I was about to say, can I yeah, insight can we, this pretty please? <laughs> Thank you. I was like, where's my... <laughs> <laughs> Crew? I was, Hello? I was, I was, I was waiting. I was waiting if there were any other hints to be dropped, but I believe that was the whole thing. Yeah, will, will pretty it, much. Willie, my empty Titan threats. threat conversation. Empty threats. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Come on. Oh hey, look at that nat oh, twenty. Whoa. Beautiful. All right. So, what you can tell without even being able to see her face is. She's very calm. Not so much in the, like, the fluid motion, but like she is very confident in how she speaks. Much better than how me, the DM, is trying to currently portray her. It's okay, no, I... Yeah. 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 Relatable. <laughs> <laughs> what you do also kind of get is that feeling of pressure from before she started talking is really tight at the moment. Almost like it's choking you without actually choking you. Uh, I didn't get that vibe from her. Oops. <laughs> does uh the does she does she emanate some uh big tentacle energy do not mess with? Yes. Okay. Um let's see. You know what, Harrow, you can make a perception check, and if you get really good at it, I'll give you something <laughs> nice. Whoa. Hmm. Uh, who who is Eric? Hold on. <laughs> God damn it! Just, I just thought, yeah. That's better. <laughs> oh, oh my God! What, what do I get oh, for dubs? My God! <laughs> Hold on, let me roll against that because she rolled twice. Bastard! All right, I rolled like garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe you're letting him get away with this. Get away with <laughs> stupid shit. <laughs> Harrow. <laughs> yes. In your perceiving ways, you felt almost like a beaky nibble at your ear when she was first around you. Yeah. I I don't I don't need 27s to know that feels uncomfortable. <laughs> But where she nibbled at your ear feels kind of tingly. What? What? 
what does that mean? <laughs> like what? <laughs> like a like a numb like a numb tingly like you sat on your ear for a half hour or yeah. Ah. Like you sat on your ear for a half hour. <laughs> but yes. Willie, Willie, you knew exactly what I meant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is she poisoning you guys? Yeah, what? Is there, can I like... <laughs> Am I wounded? Can I do an arcana check to determine the spell that she's currently using? You can make an arcana check. Uh, Eleven. Magic. Boy, oh boy. Curses, that thing that we all know. <laughs> um, let's see. Definitely arcane in variety. Uh... Hmm. Can I roll intimidation? <laughs> <laughs> For my previous <laughs> threat? <laughs> You know what? Go for it. It's gonna be like a one. Aw, oh, never mind. It's a little better than a one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you know, no, no one. I hold on. I'm no, sorry, I don't have what? anything Was that for here? it. No. <laughs> <laughs> She gets up real close again. Cricket grabs this... her tentacle again, but squeezes harder this time. Mm. Don't make flirting right. noises, <laughs> bitch. I'm getting uh, I will give you one more perception check, Cricket. Oh, wait, I had one anyone before? Or... <laughs> no. I was about to say, is that for anyone or for just Cricket? Just for Cricket, because she's up in her face now. I'm blind. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Can I pull her even closer? <laughs> That's far enough. Mm. And she very smoothly slips out of your grip. Hey. <laughs> this is fine. She puts out two tentacles around both Viltatus and Killian's shoulders. <laughs> it's fine, really. You don't need to come back. I thought it would be nice to offer, but honestly, the new pride is probably going to do a lot better than you. All good. Oh, good. You're saying we'll this like you're making me now. jealous. Trust me, you're not. Wow. You really are a different person. What well, if I were to just sneak into your head, just right through your ear, and like, shake your brain a little bit? I don't think that would change anything. Except for me attacking you, which you don't want me to do. Wait a second, wait a second. Didn't you just say, didn't you, you ambiguous tentacled person, just say that if you, and you, pointing at Cricket, <laughs> started any fighting whatsoever, you would all die? Yes. So wouldn't that be an empty threat then? Oh, I would just love to die in Pride Zones. Insight, please? Also insight? <laughs> You're welcome to do it, but... I just died in your arms. I don't know. know. Cricket's just confused, she's... I guess. It was... <laughs> she's toying with you at this point. She knows that she's not getting anywhere with you. This is really good. You're not... You're gonna come all this way and you're not even gonna refresh me on apparently who I was. The great and powerful pride. Ruthless, if sloppy on all of her jobs. But she got the job done. Something that Envy was certainly upset about. Oh, wasn't that terribly ironic? <laughs> Inseparable from greed? Hmm. It 
really is a shame. You were someone to look up to, literally, as she kind of looks up at you. Looks like I still have that. Oh, well. Keep causing problems. Raise your bounty even further. And maybe I'll pay you a visit before seven does. Can you make me that promise? Why would I make that promise? Because you seem intent on getting in the way. Oh, I'm in the way. He's the one coming after us. If he why. steps in front of my path, I will remove him. <laughs> Best of luck, then, dear. Thanks. I don't need it, though. Suddenly, you feel the air loosen. The haze kind of drifts off, and with it, so does lust. Oh, jeez. There's seven of them, Cricket? <laughs> or six of them? Seven plus, with, with, wait, seven. He's doing the arm cross pointing other directions thing. H how many of, the, how many of them are there actually? Uh, uh, I think you can take a guess. Seven people for seven sins. But then there's seven in himself. Does that make him eight or seven? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And also, while, while we're on the subject, Killing, is there anyone in your history, your, 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 your back history or the, anything like that that may be coming to try and kill us at some point? Um... I know, I know I only say it, I say that in, hey, I say hey. that in, Why do they I say that in, so guilty? I say that in half jest because I know what kind of crowd you palled around with before you palled around with us. Well, now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just mercenaries there, and the like. There were the tree vipers, but I don't think they would come after us unless they were hired to. Tree snakes. So, yeah. Well, we gotta keep our eyes out for the canopy. Honestly, I can't think of too many people that'd be coming after me. I mean, we just got done with my back life story, at least some semblance thereof. <laughs> but that Killian's... doesn't... Hmm? Sorry, yeah, after after Killian finishes talking about that, he sort of takes a sharp inhale and then looks looks away. Would that be worth inciting? I'm inciting Maybe. <laughs> yeah. No. Is that 20? No idea! <laughs> Here I go! Yeehaw! That's Viltatus, don't worry, that's, that's... Killian's stats. <laughs> <laughs> well, I beat uh, one. Uh, seems to be some... Uh, dredged up some bad memories from recalling that name. The Tree Vipers? Yep. Killian, he, he, Dan Sen looks weirdly serious. Killian, you sure you're okay? You, you sure there ain't someone out there that might have something against you? I already said they won't come after us unless they have a reason to. Someone pays them. Okay, okay, just, you know, just double checking. <sighs> well, it sounds well, like that's the case with mine, so apologies there. Yeah, well, well, let's see here. We've come across Lutz, we come across Seven. What was that? That that one lady that that gave me lycanthropy for a hot second. The, the rock, I think, was envy. Ah, oh, that's right. right. Mrs. Foundation. That was so, greed. So so cricket. Let me be, let me be fresh with you. I'm getting real nervous about these people who keep showing up. Can if we get the opportunity, can we just kill one of them? That's what I've been trying what? to do with seven. Okay, but see, we gotta try harder with seven. 
She seemed pretty confident that <sighs> if you so two were to come to blows, you would all die. Or we would all die. I mean, we we took out... What was it, Gluttony? Oh. Envy? Greed? Envy? Greed. greed. That was greed. Yeah, it was greed! We, we started smacking her around pretty good. Well, she only barely escaped, but escaped nonetheless. We well, we were also up in the air. I don't know. So speaking of up in the air, should we get out of here? Uh, question, Willie. Yes. While she did, she obviously she gripped me at some points, correct? Mm-hmm. Um, does it feel tingly or anything that I would notice, or should I roll for that, or? Um, she didn't, like, touch you with her beak at all. Ah, okay. Why did I get snacked on? <laughs> because you rolled twice. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> mm, it's all making sense now. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's this? The consequences of my action? What? <laughs> no, don't worry. See, see, I'm... I'm it, it, there's a great irony of me saying that of all things, Harrow. Don't worry about it. Is anyone else's uh, ears itch? No. I just felt very uncomfortable the entire time. I really just wanted to punch her. I was surprised he didn't. Well, it, she was kind of hard to see. She wasn't being super threatening. It was like light threatening. Even though she was making heavy threats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was pretty threatening. We can admit that. <laughs> hmm. I'm just curious about that part. Uh, what sort of ability she or your entire group might have to kill us all in an instant? I wish I could help with that. Sorry. It's understandable. I suppose well, there's nothing for it then to just keep moving on our way then. I'm actually surprised. Killian, hold up. Weren't you a mercenary? Mm. Yes. You've never heard of the Seven Fangs? I think I mentioned as much back in, uh... Oh shit, what is it called? The Tribor? Was it Tribor? Oh my god. You're gonna test my memory from, what, a year <laughs> plus ago? <laughs> Where are... Our house is in Tribor, right? That is correct! Yeah. Okay. I'm not misremembering. Yes, in Tribor. With the initial fire giant attack, I think I mentioned as much that I never heard of the fangs before. Okay. If I had, it was only partial mentionings. <sighs> well, are we ready to skedaddle then? Yeah, let's get out of here. You have your drum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was that, that was that was just that was a little cart there, uh, Cricket. I uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, Dan Dan's gonna point his stubby little paw up and finger gun a flare out. Just pick us up. I don't have the sprite for this map. Was this a Jetsons UFO? <laughs> <laughs> What sound does an airship make that only has like a balloon on it? I mean, maybe there's a propeller. No, there isn't a propeller. It'd be, it'd just be like a just kind of like a constant release of steam or something. Uh, but sure enough, a rope gets lowered and you are able to get away from the spooky music. Good. And then we get you back up into the sky. But before before leaving, Dan's just oh. gonna lean out. 
Thank you so much, Clamp. I won't forget what you told me about my grandpap. When you say that, you feel a little bit of a tingle on your cheeks. Uh, is that a good or a bad? Oh, uh, good. Okay. We just got done with tingly tentacles. I, you know. God, that does sound like a Donkey Kong level. <clears throat> well then, uh, what time of day is it? Uh, let's see. So you kind of came here after... It would probably be around afternoon at this point. So maybe noonish, 12? Yeah, okay. You can have your lunch ham. Oh boy, ham. <laughs> well, I suppose we need to figure out where we're going to go next. I mean, we could either go deal with... Oh, I almost said Vonadod. Oh, that thing's been looming over us. <laughs> um... <laughs> It God. feels so like a weight's been lifted off our shoulders ever since I, we took care of it. I know, right? Looks back at his tail. <laughs> we've been... <laughs> we've been after the Von and Don for so long, we just... Like a dog. Chasing a cart. We don't know what to do now that we've caught it. Well, uh, we could either figure out what's going on with Dodd Kong and... Do something about Harold, or... We could go... Find the Storm Giants, finally. Wait, so you're actually going to go after uh, Stone Lich? Stone Giant Lich? Nah, because see, that's what we're debating currently. Ah. Huh. Suit yourself. And he goes under. Yeah, who's left on our list? It's kind of short now, isn't it? Yeah, just the Dodd Kong Slayer and the Storm Giant Slayer. As a reminder, who is keeping track of the conscious? Don't we have them in that box? Let's just check on the box. We check on the box. Who has the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the box? I think Cricket had it for a period of time, but when we got back to the ship, I don't know where it is. It's I was about probably to say, in... did you show it? Yeah, it's probably in the bottom in a room or something, I imagine. Because mm. it's in a dimensional box or whatever. Oh, right. So it wouldn't be easier the... to find. The dimension box. <laughs> the dimension <laughs> box. It's a chest, yeah. Yeah. But if you want, you can. Yes. Are the conches still in there? They are, in fact, still in there. Whew. Okay. No shenanigans. You can see the halo over your DM's head. Uh... I know you've rolled those dice for no reason just now. What? No. I'm on your games. <laughs> All right. Come on, Mr. Binks. Wow. Wow. That is such a weird cat. You should see here are the, some of the things he tells me. Look at how Shh. calm he looks. Shoots over a cricket. <laughs> Excuse me? What is he saying right now, Willie? I like this human. He says that. He licks he... his chops. Hmm. I can infer a lot of that. Can I incite the cat? <laughs> <laughs> Please incite Mr. Binks. Ooh, I, I like him. I'll kill him last. I'm, I'm, I'm cursed today. Oh boy, here we go. Just wake up and Killian's missing a foot. <sighs> I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Just gonna look at Mr. Bink, look back at Mr. Binks and then squint. Just look at how calm he looks. He yeah, says he what... loves you. Oh, yeah, see, oh, that's, what I don't... that's what I don't trust. I'm on to you, cat. He said it like, I love you. Mm. But in a really... <laughs> <laughs> 
just just the 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 two small red circles on Killian's cheeks blush. <laughs> Uh. Other than that, his expression doesn't change. <laughs> yep, that's <Ooh>. it. <laughs> that's the scene. Okay, so then, where should we go from here? Yeah, Viltatis, where should we go from here? Well, I'll tell you what, my opinions are, uh... <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> yeah? In my opinion... Perhaps... <laughs> <laughs> Why do you can do it? Perhaps it'd behoove us to take care of the Dodd Kong first, as we don't know what kind of control he's got over Harrow, I tell you. What? That's a very good point. I mean, we've been slowing down all of the giants in the meantime. It's not like they've been able to re-administer or reset up the ordnings, so... Because he had turned them into stone, and now he's not. But we don't know how long that's gonna last. I suppose that's true. But are we ready to fight a lich? I feel like I might want to level up my strength a little bit more. <laughs> level up. <laughs> oh, you know, just, just, uh, just, just, just do some push-ups. I'll just do some push-ups, says. Cricket starts doing some push-ups. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for the storm giants then at the risk of Harrow maybe being turned into stone or something well, worse. I, re I mean, remember that the ultimatum was that if we didn't go in and kill the Storm King, that the hero would turn into stone. I mean, so maybe we should go after the Dodd Kong first. <laughs> yep, that checks out. <laughs> Okay, above game. Willie, are, are, would you be prepped for that? I have the map prepped. Remind me what your levels are again. Uh, Ten? Ten. Probably not enough. Should we be okay. eleven? Eleven! Wait. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh. Three! No, I didn't mean, like, should we already be eleven? I meant, should we be yeah, eleven, DM, too? Uh, are you... <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's yeah. <laughs> Can we high enough level for this? Tell us. Uh... Is this meta gaming? Should we not do that? Yeah. This is meta gaming. <laughs> this, this is, yeah, it is. This is exactly. Fine. Oh, it is meta gaming. <laughs> a lich's CR this is this voice. twenty-two. A regular lich's CR is twenty-two. Just as a heads up. Regular? Are you saying he's uh -huh. abnormal? He's yeah, a giant. He's stone giant. In addition to being a lich. I know nothing about CR ratings. So this means nothing to me, unfortunately. Well, pushes up glasses. <laughs> Please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> the way that CR is calculated in 5th edition is, is very simple. I thought it was like a mystery for everyone. It, it, no, it is a mystery to mystery. everyone. Indeed. Uh, CR also lies a lot. That's <laughs> yeah. why I said, isn't yeah. it a mystery to everyone? It Calculating is CR is easy. Balancing CR is difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the HP and greatest damage per round. Uh, I lied. It's not simple at all. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Suffice it to say, there's a calculator. Is it I'll something along? Is it something along the lines of of a CR it's, and the numerical value, and that's the numerical value of the average it's, player in a party? It's HP, AC, and other defensive attributes of the creature. 
and then offensive attributes, and then expected damage done over three rounds divided by bullshit. <laughs> How scientific. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's basic arithmetic. But I thought Look. math was illegal. I mean, math is illegal, but that, that's, that's what makes it so exciting. That's oh. the whole game. Uh, yeah. Uh, Look, scared. I have the stone giants prepped if you want to go in that direction. Logic, um, would, logic would dictate that that's the way we would go because otherwise we would have Dodd Kong's ire if we went in and did what we actually wanted to do with the storm giants. What did that's you want the, to do with the storm giants? Well, uh, we were trying to get them reestablished with the ordning as well as, um, oh god, the kid. Uh, help me, players. Um, we gotta get to Hecaton's court. Um, and we have to root out the evil within. So something, there's, there's theoretically something corrupting it. Mm. Those are the details that uh, I currently have. So using, using the calculator pushes of glasses that I've just <laughs> located, uh, five, five level 10 characters versus one CR 22 monster is a deadly encounter. Oh, <laughs> oh. So maybe we, yeah, okay, never mind. Let's. Maybe the other. Thing I mean, then. our original plan was to go after the storm giant snacks. So, let's okay. just I'll keep with it. Is it yeah, is true. So, <clears throat> looks like we're going to the storm giants. I tell you what. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, That's oh, fine <laughs> by me. <laughs> no, it'd be D who's up on top. Oh, great. Um, how? What do you mean, how? We have to blow the conscience sequentially. Oh, oh you're, you're leaving then. Ah. I, I, I mean, that was kind of always the plan, at least f for the moment. Well, how do we get back? Wait, we should figure out <laughs> both trips before we commit. Cricket, we don't know where exactly we're going, and we're suddenly not going to know how to get back. I would assume we'd have to blow the conscience again to get back, but... You know. Slow That's turns to someone who might know this. Mm. Looks at everyone on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have never seen those things in my life. Uh, what? <sighs> well, I mean, if you're teleporting, um... Should we figure out a rendezvous point? Yeah. Okay, so well, well, here's the thing. What do we know about storm giants? Where, where, where theoretically would they be? Ocean. Okay, there we go. Um, so why aren't they called the water map? giants? Good God, it's Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> or. But see, it could be anywhere up and down the coast. It could be at the whale bones. It could be at the, the corn archipelago. I doubt it'd be at the sea moving ice. So we're looking at mid to south. Mm. What do you think? What kind of water do you think they like? Warm? Cold? Uh, vast. <laughs> uh, let's see. They're over by the lizard marsh. Like big water? Because that's yeah, what I would be. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that you're a bog hag? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa. You said you want to hang out the marsh. Not a lot out there except lizards. Bog, bog hags and lizards and trolls. Let's see. Hold on a second. I'm trying to get you a specific location in the trackless sea where they could be. I mean, it's not exactly like we can mm -hmm. can sure. triangulate it. What was here? Is this pirates? That, that was a that was a treasure. That was a treasure hunt. Uh, treasure. Treasure. It's probably by whale bones. There we go. Man, I can't believe we should have asked directions from the other giants before we <laughs> murdered them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
Sorry to drop in, I know this may sound crazy, but how do we get to your old leader? <laughs> then stab. <laughs> Could we ask, we go back up north and ask the giant god? Bill taught us, why don't you give me a history check? <laughs> well, all right then. That's going to be a nine, but I'm going to use Flash of Genius to turn that into a... What's my intelligence modifier? Thirteen, I tell you what. All right. You know what? Go ahead and roll Inspiration while you're at it. Whoa! So get a D10. D10. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my uh, uh, 17. No, no, no. I, I'm going to pump poke a pun on my drum. You re-roll that. <laughs> Whoa! There we go. Thank you. Oh, 23. Okay. Uh, Hill taught us what you understand yep. of this underwater lair of the storm giants is that it is definitely due west of water. Um, 23, huh? So, definitely before the whale boat. It's somewhere near that area. So if I were to draw a big old box. This is a lot of water, mind you. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty good compared to the rest of the globe. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if, if nothing else, uh... We're going back to water deep. Well, no, not Cracks, direct, knuckles. Not directly into water deep, but uh, theoretically, we're teleporting around the western end over here. So we could either meet back up at Whale Bones, or we can meet over at the Red Rocks. My personal vote would be Red Rocks, but you know that—that's just me. Hmm. We. Uh. We could yeah. also meet up in Thornhold. Yeah, that's even further out. Mm. But it is less treacherous. But we'd be going through... Just, just drawing a line on that. But we'd actually be going through Red Rocks in order to get to Thornhold. Unless we went around it. Hmm. How That's long will DD and D be waiting for this? I mean, it, it could be a couple days at most, I would think. Honestly, at your track rate, probably like three hours. Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> that's pretty <Sorry>. doable. <laughs> Which one? Yours? <laughs> yeah! Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willie. This was really good. <laughs> I wish you said it to me. <laughs> but you wouldn't get an answer. I'd be like, uh, I don't know. Maybe all seven of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can just hear Willie rubbing his hands in the background. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that you're Mitch. Uh, okay. All right, so above game, let's get this moving. Do we wanna, do we wanna do whale bones? Do we wanna do red rocks, or do we wanna go for thornhold? I personally say red. No, oh. no. Uh. We could do. We could get your. We could get your blood vengeance afterwards. Okay. And then we could go treasure hunting. No threat earlier in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> So okay. It's red red rocks then. I yeah. would say red yeah, I would say red rocks, pick up there, go to Thornhold if we need to to like resupply or rest, and we probably will. And then since Waterdeep's right there, if you know looks at cricket. Look, they want me to go back so bad. Maybe I'll check it out and see what they have to offer. Maybe Or maybe they're just playing right into the hands. Man. Look, uh, we got a, we got an idea of where our heading's gonna be. Um, I tell uh, I'll, I'll I'll tell you what. Uh, 
D, D, and D. Uh, if you're in that general vicinity, trust us, I'll, I'll, we'll find a way to either flag you down or, or physically get to you. Are you gonna be safe underwater? Uh, I will be? I, mm, I don't know about the rest of you. Doesn't Vittletatus have the ability to make us all breathe underwater or something? As a matter of fact, I do. I have water breathing and water walking. Oh boy. Well, it's, not, it's not like we're going to be on top of the water for any reason. How, lo how long we, we breathed under the water? It was like Is a it hour, one like hour? A, yeah. No, Are we? Uh, 24 hours. Oh, that's better mm. that we have met plenty of time considering we'll do this in three hours. Uh, you really think we're going to get this done in three hours? I, I get the feeling this might take a lot longer. Why? How long did the others <laughs> take us? Okay, but see, here's, here's the thing. We are teleporting into an area that no one really knows of to go possibly confront the strongest of all the giants. Dark card notwithstanding. So... More variables in there, buddy. We should rest before we... Oh, well, I mean, it's going to take us a while. This was my thought, okay? How about we just fly down, land at the Thornhold or, or Raslata or, or something like that, then blow, and if we end up in this general area, it's not like uh, it's not like the D's got to travel all that far if they, uh, they need to pick us up quickly. So you want to travel the week? And then I mean, that's the, the thorn hole. That's the question I am I am dropping on people. This is not the plan. Yeah. Heavens to Betsy, please. Um, just an idea. Question: Did we have any other quests currently, quote unquote, on the map left um, to do besides there, the other giant? There was uh, the Red Rocks treasure, and then there was whatever you wanted to do at Waterdeep. Kick Seven's butt. That was it. I got threatened, though. Does that mean anything to me? No. You can't threaten me. I'm too <laughs> stupid to be threatened. <laughs> I'm too stupid to fear. <laughs> well, wait, was there anything else? I, I don't think there was. Especially from uh, some ugly octopus. There was a very small bounty. Um... There is the other Cloud Giant's tower, which you haven't found, and I have no idea where that is at the moment. <laughs> Great. Uh, DM lost it. We'll never find it now. Let's see. And I have a dragon on this map. I'm not too sure why. The green one? Yeah, I saw yeah. it. I don't know. I mean, well, they are in your airspace. That's just matter of fact, really. Well, that that was my suggestion for whatever everyone else wants to suggest. Good what about the it. magic dogs that aren't dogs but Power Rangers or Common Rider? Oh, right. Um, so that is for later. Oh, okay, then I won't look at them. I won't perceive. I guess let's just do the Red Rocks quest. Uh, heal up and then hop off to the Storm Giants, right? Yeah. <coughs> oh god, excuse me. Treasure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, you want to do that tonight? You want to go for Red Rocks? Yeah. Wouldn't it be smarter to maybe potentially level up? Or <laughs> I don't well, even know how close we are. That would be super meta gaming. Um, because prior logical priority would say to either it would would be to um go figure out what's up with the storm giants and then potentially deal with uh, Dot Kong. Plus, we go to the Red Rocks, we'll be right there for the treasure. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'd say... So, again, yeah. I, I would say we, we fly down to one of the coastal towns, then blow the conches, uh, do what we need to do, and then flag down um, the Ds. And then go right. treasure hunting. Should we do our usual signals? That'll work just fine. Thank you. Okay, then. 
So with that, you start to take off. And you've got yourself like a solid 10 day to get across this map again. Yep, so many a long rest, I suppose, unless we get You're jumped. definitely getting at least a long rest. Um, but uh, you've got some downtime on the boat. Willie, what typically would you allow players to do, either to develop or, or something along those lines, uh, with a large amount of downtime? Like, some people would be like, oh, I want to learn an instrument, I want to study a language, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's tough. A lot of the downtime rules usually assume more than a week's mm. worth of time ah. for a lot of things you can learn. Gotcha. Which is a pain in the butt. And also, because you're in a ship, it's very hard to research anything unless you've got books on hand. Mm. Um... Hmm. We could borrow some from Sir House. If he shows up randomly. Let's put that little uh, feather under your pillow tonight. Uh, there is always that. You certainly have nights to spare if you want to do that. But is there anything in particular that you'd be looking to improve yourself with? Ooh. Positive downtime. <laughs> Offhand, not really. Um, How do much? We need, do we need to stop anywhere to pick anything up? Do we need to go grocery shopping? We probably well, should. I have. I don't know if anyone needs anything. Uh, also, also, Killian, do remember that you've got that that frost room now. So you know, add all of that to yep. your arsenal of kick-ass things you can do. Also, Viltatus needs to take my Cloak of Elvenkind and uh, turn it inside out and turn it into a Cloak of the Manta Ray. Ooh, 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 ooh. If that's what we're, where we're heading about. Yep, so I'll, I'll swap those infusions. Okay. Um... That'll, that'll take place over a rest. Um, we might do with uh, potions, maybe? We could always use potions, yeah. Okay, but question, how much money does everyone have? <laughs> I have 60 gold. And how much, how much were potions just offhand? 50. You see 50. Okay, I've got about 400, and that's... Fuck. <laughs> I have a broker than Killian at this point. 23. You guys have money? You don't? Man, I gotta teach you kids how to invest. Um, you know what we should do? Uh, real talk for a hot second. Maybe we should stop back at home. We could drop always in a do that and see how everyone's doing. If we could drop back in at Tribor, get some more buff food, get an actual, like, really nice rest. Um, I need to double check our uh, business coffers to see if anything's been made there. Because that's so far been the only way we've been making money is shaking down that clown. <laughs> it has been two weeks since yeah. you last saw that clown. Mm. You could also like check it on North. We could check on Narth. I could see Hera sweating in the chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't Fair. wait for. I... <laughs> mm. It's not wrong. Viltatis isn't be any better off than I am. In fact, I have more gold than him. We don't really have anything to sell either. Nope. Uh, well, I don't have any revives for us this time. Do you still do you do you have any? You don't have any diamonds for resurrections, correct? Right. I have. 
I have nothing. I have f five pounds of ivory. <laughs> we could sell that. Uh, I think I need it for spell components, actually. Oh. Yes. I can cast a funny spell with it. Let's see here. I do not have that anymore. I do not need that on my list. Tell you what, um, Willy, let me do yes. something really stupid, if you can allow. Um, Please. Would it be, would it be possible? Okay. And, and, and everyone jump in on this if, if you think this would be fun. Could we periodically stop at different towns and put on performances for money? You're gonna go busking. Yes. Sure. We got we we got the time. Oh my goodness. Uh what towns do I still have prepped here? <laughs> I mean it could be Willie, it could just be a quick thing. It could just be a couple of quick <laughs> rolls and we just move on. It's just so it's something to do and something to help generate revenue because we have nothing. We've got a lot of magical items, but we kind of would it, need a lot of them. Would it generate enough revenue to get us what we need, though? I don't think I don't think bard performances are going to. Well, no, get it's not like five hundred. It's, it's not going to get us two hundred gold for your diamonds, but it, it would at least be something. It would probably get you to about maybe. Uh, this is generous to five gold a night. Yeah, that's what I figured. Not worth the trouble. Five, ten, fifty, yeah. Uh, More than a farmer sees in a year. Yeah. True, I'm but... I'm uh, there's like five of you. Okay, okay, look. Killian, I, I'll tell you what. I'll give you the... How much gold do you need of, of diamonds per cast? 500. Oh, you need 500 per cast. Oh, yep. Okay. I thought you needed 200 for some reason. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. Bringing well, maybe... people back from the brink of death is uh, not a cheap ask. Uh, it's only for rich people. I mean, <laughs> ask. Man, that's, that's some self commentary right there. Could you live forever <laughs> if you were rich enough? Potentially? Look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe we Stop should go ask the Dodd Kong. Stop looking at the camera! <laughs> Stop! Maybe we should go ask the Dodd Kong, see how much money he spent lichifying himself. Uh -huh. That was a joke, by the way. Terrible joke. Let's move uh, on. Wait, so you're saying we can just take his money and he'll kill over? Perfect. Hard looks at the camera with Killian. <laughs> if only it were that easy. All right, so I, Willie, I, I can't think of anything we could do that would be worthwhile on the way. I guess that's fair. Uh, so we're jumping right into it then. You're gonna jump right on in. Okay. Let's hope we don't die. Uh, let's see. I will give you this. Killian, could you make an insight check, please? On... Um, generally, the fact that you are going underwater. That's Killian, uh, 25. That is Killian, okay. Um, so, I mean, if the other giants had these conches and they would be going underneath the water, then that must mean that they have a way to stand on land underneath there. That being said, if Viltatus can give me an intelligence check. This is Viltatus. Seventeen. If you were to go into the water um, at those pressures, like if you actually were to go into the watery parts, it'll probably crush you. Um, especially if you're going to be that deep into the ocean. Mm. <sighs> you have your mission. You have mentally prepared yourself over a week on the boat eating canned ham. Delicious. Until finally we get ourselves to Thornhold. Uh, would it be okay if I 
swapped out one of my cantrips. On sure, the way. when you open the swap out. I want to get rid of Booming Blade. I don't know what to replace it with yet, but it's gone. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> I never okay. used you anyway. Yeah. It was worthless last time I used it. Sure. All right. Um, find a cooler cantrip. I'll work on it. See, here's the thing that I don't understand, though. If, if, if the giants got some way of keeping themselves grounded in water and not getting themselves crushed to death, they wouldn't have had on their persons because we've seen every single one of them. Unless the conch themselves, or itself, uh, gives them those abilities. Might make sense. It is a shell. Maybe there's someone who would know the answer we could ask. Can we talk to the conch shell? <laughs> the magic conch. <laughs> yeah. There's a string that suddenly appears on the side. <laughs> <laughs> You look into the void of one of the conch shells. Will, the void looks back at you. Will we survive the crushing weight of the ocean if we're holding you? Pull string. <laughs> the string pulls back into the conch shell. <laughs> Cricket is staring at this shell. In her massive paws. Oh god. Willie, w would any amount of researching this thing over the course of the week determine one way or another if it actually had additional properties besides identify, which I don't have the components for? Uh, generally... Viltatis has the components for that. Well, maybe Viltatis should identify it. Also, I'm not cat right now. I'm just elf. Oh, so then it's fucking huge. Part of my friend. I have... Oh. <laughs> Identify prepared as well. Uh, I can do that. Yep. So, I mean, what you're looking at is three really large conches of not this particular teleportation, but it, it only teleports you, is basically its only property. Mm. But it does have a rune inscribed on it. Uvani. On each on, one. On each one. Mm -hmm. Does Voltatus have comprehend languages? Uh... Or wait, no, that's, um... Oh, wait, yeah. Surface, yeah, yeah, but never mind. Written word also works. Uh, what is that giant for? Oh, Storm. Excuse me. Wait, I was about to say, I was about to say, Viltatus knows Jine. He would know that by default. That is true. So it's just a Storm. Mm-hmm. Uh, That's right. Willie, I've got a dumb nature question. Sure. Do you know, do, do you or anyone or even anyone chat know offhand if, um... Deep, deep earth sea creatures like whales and things like that, would would they survive going down that deep? Hmm. I don't know of any deep whales. Don't deep animals have the opposite problem where if they get too close to the top, they like explode? Yeah, see, that's, that's the thing. I'm trying to think if... I'm trying to think offhand if there if there would be something some kind of creature that would allow for that, but I never mind. That we could use as like a submarine, like a big whale. I don't know. That's I'm trying to think awesome. of ideas because Willie just threw a humongous roadblock on us. Man, we just left a giant clam. That probably how help. how do you how do you <laughs> stop <laughs> problems tomorrow? Shit. How do you solve <laughs> surface pressure areas? Just, I don't know. I'm a dumb little furball. I didn't graduate with a physics degree. Can we take a well, ship back. underwater? We're going to a town. Let's ask around. We can find some We need people. to get... We need Make to get coated gold. like One Piece. <laughs> one what? Huh? Uh, okay. <laughs> right. But, like, the, the two details I did give you was, yes, there is a lot of pressure down there if you touch the water part, but also giants are going down there just fine. So do we just want to say screw and just go for it? 
maybe it's magical water. Maybe it's not the giants. Maybe it's well. The I mean, river. maybe maybe we're gonna get teleported into a into a castle that has its own atmosphere pressure. I, I don't know. Yeah. We don't know like... if storm giants are amphibious or not. Well, if they're, if they're under the water, then I, I figure they might be. Would Harshnag have told me anything about that? <laughs> uh, Harshnag, in nicer words, would tell you that storm giants are a filthy lot, but they spend most of their time under the water. And by hey. nicer words, he used a lot of giant curse words to say that. <laughs> I see. Well, I thought I, I thought we just go for it. We've been lollygagging a, a lot over the last ten days, and I'd like to finally put this behind me. Well, oh, if we oh. are in an emergency situation, what? Music. The music changed. Oh. If we are in an emergency situation, uh, I could probably get us to the surface and. A uh, quick amount of time. I mean, I might, I might be able to transform to something that would allow us to do that. If you cast uh, water on us, do we just... Flip? I could just... Yep. <laughs> nice. That is precisely what happens, actually. Wait, wait, what? 60 feet per round. We float right to the top. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> okay, well, well, let's get the water breathing thing done and taken care of, so we got one thing out of the way. Do artificers prepare spells? That is a good question. I thought I they don't know. casted it normally. Like, uh, bards do. Oh, God. Let me put away the witch <laughs> stat block really quickly. <laughs> Spell casting. Artificer. Hey, Danzan, how much pressure can your nut shack <laughs> take? <laughs> uh, theoretically, an infinite amount, but the problem is that it's not a sphere. It, it just, you know, it, it's a dome. Mm. It's a little, little halfway. Doesn't okay, they, cover the whole thing. They cast like wizards do. Oh, so they, they do prepare spells. spells. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. I mean, excellent. Shit. All right. Are we ready to blow those horns? Yeah. Honk them. Guess so. Let's give him a honk. Yeah. I don't think Kenny can come with you, Cricket. That's okay. Intelligence <laughs> 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 modifier plus half of my artifact. But I must ask, are you bringing the cat? No. Good God. <laughs> the cat of fire, you mean? <laughs> does he want to? Yeah, does the cat want to? I asked the cat. The cat is purring up next to and in between both Cricket and Killian at the moment. What's wrong? We're gonna go underwater. Uh, they're asking if you want to come. You're going? Yeah. Why are you leaving me? <laughs> ah, so you do want to come. No. Okay. This dude's just Garfield on fire. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's not on fire right now. Not at the moment. Did we Fine. witness Garfield... the cat get on fire? I don't remember. I know it was in Harrow's, like, dream or whatever, but... Okay, fine. It's just Garfield. Then I just did the point still stay. It's <laughs> fine. Fine, fine, fine. Yeah, pretty much. Oh boy. Okay. Wait, what day is it? Uh. Hmm. What day is it? Monday. Artificer spell <laughs> list plus half of the artificer <laughs> level rounded down. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. This I'm literally weird. just killing time while Connor does his thing. Yeah. I. I think, good? I, think Arkoff, I think Garkov might have done his spells wrong, but yeah. Uh -oh. That's shocking. 
Oh god. All right. Well, I need to. I need to at least prepare water breathing. <laughs> uh huh. I know he has it because he's mentioned it a couple times. Okay, that's one, two. Uh. Take that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Will that even work? I don't think it will. I assume this is Dan Zan who's playing this music right now. Yeah, just just by himself. It's crazy. Well, that's fine. It's just once once you work the kinks out. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you toot your horns, and then we'll go on break for a bit, and then you can figure out your spells then. Yeah. Okay. That'll work. So you have three conches. You have how many of you? Six of you ready to teleport down. Mm -hmm. um, in using your identify, uh, Hill taught us you have learned that you should all be touching each other in some way as you blow the horns. Gather around. We need to hold hands when we do this. Come on now, don't be shy. Uh, I'll take your word for it. Hold hands. It's just weird. I say that about a lot of things. He's not used to a lot of experiences. True. Yes. <laughs> Is he just going through like past experiences and math in his head? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have this one? The last time I held hands was her. <laughs> you have no idea how wrong you are. <laughs> No, I have I have some semblance, but it was a poor attempt at a joke. <laughs> All right, we're blowing. All right. <laughs> it takes a lot of wind power to blow even one of these conches, but three of them ring out. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was mine. Technically, that was all three of yours. You are very tiny people. Oh, that's fair. But sure enough, that is enough of a squeak that the wind flies out of the conch and starts to encircle all of you until you are surrounded by a great whirlwind. You feel as though you are lifted into the air higher off the ship touching the clouds until suddenly whoosh, your vision changes. It looks blue, hazy, black because I don't have the screen in the proper place. Oh. You find yourself Standing on what looks like some sort of symbol on the ground. Let's see here. The moist walls are covered with bioluminescent lich lichen, snails, starfish, barnacles. You see crabs crawling across the floor, avoiding the sigil and a massive crab sits in the pool in front of you, just kind of chewing on something you can't quite see. This is where we're going to take our break. And this is where we'll take our break. Cool. One quick thing I want to make mention. This song, Amazing As It Is, 
Uh, this was created by Ben Briggs. Love that dude. Please go check out his music. Uh, and this was specifically done for um, The Completionist for one of his episodes. Oh, nice. I just thought this was really, really kind of cool and would fit very well. I think it fits very well. <laughs> Gerard, Ben, please don't sue. We love your stuff. Please. Please don't claim this either. Please. I don't think they will. <laughs> but yeah, we will take our break here. Cool. All right, I gotta get snacking. <laughs> I've been doing my spells wrong too. What the fuck? Whoops. Uh oh. Have you been One, cheating two, on me? Three. No, I've been under shooting how many spells I can prepare. Oh, all right. One, You've been two, under cheating. Three, four, fucking five, six, seven, eight. What? I should be preparing thirteen spells. Whoa. What do you normally prepare? Uh, How many? Well, normally I can I can I can prepare 13 spells outside of my domain spells that I get. And I'm only preparing eight. I guess I must have been counting those. Weird. Unless. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I need to prepare more spells. Nick. <laughs> Sweetness. I don't prepare any. I just have what I have, and then learn the hard way if I like them or not. <laughs> I think I've used almost all of my spells minus one. There's one I just never have used. Chat, what should I take for my cantrip? Um... Are you still here? Yep. I got Aki Eleven. laughing at your meme. Eh. Your, your meme. My meme. Yeah, Aki's I've late. come to make an announcement. That was really good. <laughs> Based on my fucking sin eaters. Looks like uh... two yells and a halo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I need to rewatch it. I'll Actually. prepare this spell. That's ten. Oh fuck. Now I'm paralyzed by choice. Eleven. Twelve. Uh Okay, now I have the correct number of spells prepared. Yay. And Viltatis does too. <laughs> Yay. That is to say, much less than he had. Oh, he doesn't get as many? Uh, he gets, I think he assumed he gets his full number of, uh, full artificer level. No, artificers are half casters, so he gets half of his level. Um, ah. plus, it, plus his intelligence modifier, so he can only prepare nine spells, unfortunately. This explains why he always had every spell it felt like under the sun, but okay. Yes. Moving Blade and Green Flame Blade, I thought were both poo-poo when I used them, but I might have been using them wrong, so what do I know? I technically just put in Chill Touch instead, but I 
was seeing if anyone was like, this is better. yelling boom when you used it? No. <laughs> I have returned. Crowdsourcing cricket, huh? Look. Oh, you're looking for a new spell? <laughs> yeah, mm. I, I probably will go with Chill Touch, but I was seeing if chat wanted to... Chill Touch is good for you because that slows people down. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Plus, if we run into someone that has regen, it stops them for a turn, so that might be useful. Mm. Ah. Ooh, okay. Let's see. I finally got you down here, so I have to take a look at these notes over here. Good. Besides having Eldritch in the name, I don't think I have access to Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Which is a shame, because I probably would have taken it. I have some ideas for you. Ooh, I love ideas. But not yet. Yay, future ideas. Yeah, it's Warlock only, so I don't get it. Can I cast gun? If Dan Dan gives me gun, I guess. Cricket probably would never use gun though. It's not yeah, I gave you the option. I know, it's not physical enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go put my dish. I cast fist. Yeah. Exactly. Mold earth. But Killian has it, I think, already. That cricket would choose not to use gun because it's too loud. Yeah, that's fair. That's a good point. That'd probably be a second, the second reason. But the first reason is it's not, <laughs> it's not in your face enough. This is good music to ponder your orb? Heck yeah. I already have Firebolt. I have Firebolt till the dead. Minor illusion as my cantrips. The besides Fire Illusion's a good spell. Chill touch. 
<laughs> I don't use it as much anymore because I always like it's a 50 50. <laughs> I miss so much using it. <laughs> Chill Touch is stupidly good, too. Yeah, I'll probably just go with Chill Touch. I was just gauging some other opinions because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Caskeletal Fist. Bump up the intelligence. Yeah, I probably should. It was higher, but it got lowered. I'm so sad. You can't be a smart kitty. No. What is lowering it, actually? Your lycanthropy. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sacrifices. Why could it be my wisdom? I'm sorry? <laughs> I don't know. My wisdom or my charisma, I think it was my dump stat. Might want to get rid of what? <laughs> Captain Thunderbolt, do you... <clears throat> do... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're saying? Who's <laughs> <sighs> who are we waiting on? <clears throat> Uh, I don't think anyone anymore. Everyone back? I think so. Everyone's all good. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, let's see. You are in this squishy room. You see only the crab in front of you. Does not seem to be plussed by your intrusion. Um, one other thing. You can't help but hear music. Like a powerful lady voice accompanied by deep haunting tones of a, a pipe organ, it sounds like. Coming from the staircase. Here, okay. But well. you are in, like, free air at the moment. It seems like you're able to breathe, to say the least. Um, but if you look past the crab... Would it be past the crab? No, no, never mind. You don't really see that past the crab. Those three dots show underneath the crab, so ignore mm -hmm. that. I will, I will walk a little bit further up, see if the crab moves. You walk further up, and the crab is undeterred. <sighs> Get a few more. It's a big crab, but it does not seem to be bothered at all. Uh, excuse me! An, undeter an unperturbed crab still? Uh, it's bubbling a little bit. Guys, I, 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 I don't know if I can understand this. I don't know. Is there some sort of role I can make to determine whether or not it's pos potentially guarding something based on its demeanor? Uh, nature check. <clears throat> Eight. It looks like it is just relaxing at the moment. 
big ass crab to be relaxing in a tiny pool like that, sure. But it doesn't seem like it's really up to anything based off of that rule. So maybe we should all move as a group. Um, I'm, I'm guessing we need to go up the stairs. You all can hear that, right? Mm-hmm. How could I miss it? Ah, uh, that's, that's, that's fair. We do need to find Hecaton. Figure out what's going on and what we can do. Um, yes, hello. Hello, Mr. Binks. Yeah. Oh, goodness, Mr. Binks. Why did we bring him with us? He said he want to come. Who am I to deny a cat what he wants? Well, that seems a bit biased there, wouldn't you say? No. It's gonna be dangerous. Yeah. What if Mr. Binks gets hurt? Mr. Binks. No. Yeah. Promise you'll not get hurt. I'm gonna get hurt. Maybe. You wanna sit Whoa. here? <laughs> You're gonna leave me? Oh, you don't wanna where leave. Where I can get hurt? <laughs> he says he doesn't wanna be left behind where he can get hurt. Okay, fine. Just have him like right on your shoulder, or your back, or something. Okay. You need, you need one of those backpacks specifically for cats. <laughs> I do See, have I'm a backpack. Can I put him in it? <laughs> full, full, full play armor wearing like a, a, a baby harness and Mr. Binks is in it. <laughs> like on the front. <laughs> Please, I beg you. I mean, Viltatus could build that. Oh boy. Mr. Binks, you want to hang out in my backpack for now? Okay. Sweet. I have obtained a Binks in my backpack. You have backpack Binks. You can remove his name if you want. No, it's too precious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it covers everything. Oh, Mr. Binks. Oh my goodness, the whole neighborhood is barking. I hear every dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, where would you like to go as I mute myself? Uh, um, also, I, d I don't have control of Viltatis' token. I don't either. I feel like I might need that. I feel it, the power. It courses through me once more. I'll tell you what. I'm thinking we all collectively as a group uh make our way that stairwell. I, I don't I don't know if I trust that crab over there though. Might come at us. Maybe, but we can't just sit here pondering either. <clears throat> well that's what I mean. We all should just move in a group. Uh you and Cricket take the front, Viltatis kinda somewhere in the middle, and Harrow and I'll just come up the back. Alright. Taking up the rear. All right. <laughs> so you proceed towards the staircase, I assume. In in a in a group, very carefully, inoffensively. Very carefully. The crab seems. Undeterred. All right. You got past my crab puzzle, I guess. <laughs> Hooray! He just walked by it. <laughs> all right. So you're all just kind of going up these massive giant stairs. Uh, you're not making too much noise, I don't assume. No. Just gonna. Copy all of your tokens as we proceed to the next area. As I reveal this area, oh. here we go. I will also flip the hood up on my cloak of the manta ray. 
Oh, good. Oh, yeah, I guess I'll put my cloak too, but not manta ray. So, elven kind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I will just stealthily walk, I guess. <laughs> And I'm Valpada. Oh, I had to use this one. Did that zoom you? There you go. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> you come to the top of the staircase. Music fills this hall when you first arrive. Let me reveal to you what you see. Oh, but wait, there's more. Oh. Oh. Uh, big crab. It's a big blue crab. Big crab. Oh, the. Oh. oh. Ah. I. No. Mm, mm. <laughs> I hey, see. look, it's all the things we killed. Maybe it's time to turn around and leave. <laughs> The room itself is split into two levels. You see a uh, high raised ledge that hugs the walls to the north and the east, and gently sloping ramps that lead up to it. Beautiful acoustics. You can see barnacle-covered pillars of hewn rock rise to meet the vaulted ceiling, and a huge crystal window allures, allows in light that casts beautiful patterns on the walls. And of course, in the back there, you see a hulking crab with colored nodules and hollow flutes of beautiful coral growing out of its shell. And let's see. Performing next to the crab, you see two giants. And the scene looks something like this. As I give it to you and you alone. Mm. Oh. oh, that's a party. I shouldn't show oh. stream this. Oh, uh, you can show it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> She's just hammering out a drum beat on that crab shell. She's singing into the coral. She is singing into the coral, and it is pretty okay. It's it's a pretty okay song, and her sister is. Mm, decent at playing the crab. Um, it takes a bit of practice to play the crab, honestly. Oh man, I had no idea that that could be used as a musical instrument. They're just okay. This is the probably the most disappointing part, I guess. <laughs> Quick question. Do we recognize the other giants in the room? No, because every other giant that you have met with has died. These are all different giants. Okay. <laughs> just want to make sure. We've been doing a number on them. There's some uh, little sus. Oh, they are watching the performance a little bit sullen, um, just kind of like impatient, while the two storm giants watch on either side of the ledge for intruders. Speaking of which, could I have those stealth checks? Are you stealth? <laughs> we are. Excellent. I will say that you are within sight of both of those giants uh, from the staircase. Oh, if only I'd pass without a trace. Hey, 18. Uh oh. Ooh. Wait. Don't you, nope. don't you don't you have advantage with the cloak though, Cricket? That's what I'm looking. Or wait, you're wearing you're wearing heavy armor actually. Mm -hmm. So it neutralizes. Uh Let's see if I can do it. Can I use my one hero point? <laughs> 18? That's that's Killian, by the way. Wow, really? Yeah. That's impressive. Well. Wait, no, I have disadvantage. This is six. No! <laughs> no. And Viltatis, who is in infiltrator mm -hmm. mode. Uh, it's a 20 rain. 
All right. Well, if you if you're gonna blow it, Killian, then I'm not gonna raise my number. <laughs> Forget it. So you come come to the top of the steps, and as the leftmost giant starts getting into a really loud belt. You can hear the clank, clank, clank echo through the halls. She stops singing. Her sister looks at her, looks over to where you're at, and sours. Well, I guess we might as well just make our grand entrance. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going to do one stupid bullshitty attempt. Willie? Yeah. I am going to. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh. Yeah, it's worth it. I'm going to drop a major image for sound to sort of continue and add on to the song that they that they were that uh, they were performing get the drum out and start playing to try and get them back into the groove well, ac accompanied with a cacophony of other music being played through the major image Will uh, will overcome this trial through the power of song. Please, <laughs> I'm a goofy goopa rock. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look happy, uh, but you can roll your performance check. Come on, man! Music C International Language 19. Hey, sis! Yeah? It seems as though the puny creature is trying to show you up. I don't like that one bit. That wasn't the... Oh, that was not the intent. The frost giant is grooving along, though. He, he's, <laughs> he's enjoying it. Lock, he's lock, pop, lock! Drop it in locking. <laughs> okay. Look, we... <laughs> I'm I'm a fellow enthusiast of of great music. I I just thought maybe a a company win would 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 sort of break the ice, so to speak. <laughs> Look to the frost giants. The frost giant gives you finger guns at that one. By the way, for oh. the record, above game, just so we have the <clears throat> proper nouns remembered. Uh, it was Aragon's ghost that we saw. Uh, Balgolthicus was his father that killed him at the Oracle. Um, because he stepped out of his father's shadow? Um, and his father himself was very afraid, according to these notes. Hmm. So if anybody wants to make that mention... Let me just flip her around, flip him around, because they're looking at you now. The storm giants are in front of both of the other storm giants who were performing and are basically making sure that they stay out of harm's way. What brings these puny creatures to court? You know, besides trying to show you up. Looks at everyone. Should we tell them? I mean... Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no? <laughs> I mean, what... Okay, just, just above game, what else would we do? I... I didn't think we'd get to this far. I didn't... Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know I what was to kind expect. Of... It was kind of just assuming that we were gonna run through everybody to send our way. <laughs> wasn't no, 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 we don't have to do that. Ah! Uh, what do we have to do? 
Uh, do you do you want do you want me to try to to talk a little more into it? If you think you can. Yeah. Okay. I mean, can we beat all these guys? That's the question of the hour. <laughs> we can fucking take them. It's just the Storm King after is probably not. We uh, <laughs> we were actually called here by Aragon. If that Aragon. name means anything to any of you. The cloud giant kind of scratches his head a little bit. But then just kind of gives you a weird sort of frowny like huh? I know we're nothing but small folk and not worth a damn to any of you. We know that. But there's turmoil and chaos going on above, and... We were told by Aragon's ghost that something horrible had happened. That we needed to help and bring things back to order. We don't come to- we don't come to fight. We humbly offer our services to try and right a wrong. I don't like the laughter. It's almost adorable, isn't it? You are very adorable, Dan Zan. Oh, I know, but it's not helping me right now. <laughs> Try and be even more adorable. Fluff up your fur or something. Milk it. Give him googly eyes. But then where do we go from there, Cricket? Uh, milk it. You milk it. <laughs> <laughs> The fire giant kind of looks at you a little suspicious, but Mira, as you don't know her name yet, kind of snipes. <laughs> I assume this Aragon wanted you to go visit King Hecaton? Ah. <laughs> uh that, that was the idea. King Hecaton is missing. Right now, our youngest sister is in command while daddy is away. Wait, your and dad's she's far missing? far too overwhelmed with matters to entertain you. Well, thankfully, entertainment's not necessary. We're here to assist. The sisters look at each other. Gods, why don't you escort the adventurers here, these puny ones, over to the guest quarters? I want to, I want to incite the word guest quarters really bad right now. <laughs> sure. Sweats in jail time. <laughs> yeah, for real, not 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that one. She sees you making a face at, at that. Yes, our guest quarters are for small diplomats. It's only right. Should we have you killed instead? <laughs> oh, no, 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 not not at all, not at all. I was I was looking to see if, if, if I could determine whether she's being disingenuous or not. Yeah, um, but like she noticed you inciting. Oh, oh well, 2020 then. vision? Hmm. Uh, she was being straight up, though. Okay. Uh, let's see. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 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 what floor is that one at? Are they about to knock you back downstairs? I don't know. Huh. Are you was kidding it, me? Was it by the entrance up above? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, was well the then. last map. Back down. Back down we go. Would have been really awkward if they met to see a, a dead crab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would. We just scudded right by that. I mean, it was a crab doing crab stuff. I wasn't it's just hanging out. Yeah, it was just. You never tell with those crabs. There he is. 
There he is. This way. Okay, okay, no worries. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, man. I wanted to look in the other room. Thanks! Uh, ah. <laughs> so what is that up ahead? Star. Because you didn't take a look at that. Uh, do 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 what do we say if they ask us how we got here? Uh, the hallway Just to the nothing. east. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. The hallway to the east ends at a life-sized stone statue of a lady storm giant holding a harp and wearing a gown of pure coral. So let's see here. He eventually leads you down the hall. You are flanked on both sides by these giants as uh, you walk down. And let's see. Killian, you can't help but think one of them might be laughing underneath their breath. Fitted for small creatures. He can't get in. <laughs> let's go in. <laughs> What's the door looking like? Uh, let's see. So this that's is actually cool. the safest possible room for us. I mean, is it uh, just basics? Like, does it have prison bars in the window? Uh, it's, you know. it's a nice door. Uh, okay. Let's see. It looks like uh, your. These doors in particular are your size, so you can easily fit through it. Um, but they are made of barnacle-covered stone with rusty iron hinges. Uh, okay. <clears throat> we will send for you when the ladies have made their decision. Okay, well, uh, appreciate the courtesy. Including you. Harold! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just looking around. Just accurate. <laughs> wow. Have me a stare in context with that crab. <laughs> the crab will the win. Crab he has is... no eyelids. <laughs> None plus. Nonplussed, minus in fact. <laughs> I hope the room is to your liking. Ah, uh, it, 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 it seems fine enough. Fine enough. Uh, got got some beds and light and oh, a rug. That's fancy. Empty dresser, an empty wardrobe, a barrel of drinking water, a circular rug, and five comfortable beds. Can I um? Casually peek down this hallway while I'm walking by. He's looking at you. Uh, oh, sorry. It is not a hallway. That is a door. Oh, okay. Reveal that much to you. Ah, oh. a door. Um, <laughs> Willie, you stare as, at the door. Hmm. Willie, as soon as we get in there, I'm gonna get on. I'm, I'm gonna kind of tuck in over here and immediately start ritual casting to take magic. <laughs> uh, sure. Well, guess we'll go in. <clears throat> Arrow, there you go. <laughs> you hear one set of footsteps. Walk away. Oh, man. This doesn't feel right. We're not used to common niceness. No, I said courtesy, but that didn't feel right. I swear I heard one of them chuckling under their breath. I mean, how often do you think uh, people like us come here? Probably uh, very not often. I would say just about never, but, uh, you know. Really, let me know when that thing goes off. Uh, let's see. And I will start room sweeping. 
Room sweeping, I see. Um, well, I can give you this much. This room seems pretty mundane, honestly. Uh, no scrying, no tools. It's just a comfortable room. No evocation or Not chromacy. <laughs> um, the only thing that I could probably give you, because it would be throughout this entire area. Uh, let's see. What is it described as? I would assume it's some form of transmutation that uh, is basically replenishing the air in here so it always yeah. feels fresh. Hmm. Well, the one good news is that the one thing I'll be able to find is we're not going to suffocate anytime soon. I like news like that. The bad news is, is, uh... Well, you, you were saying something, Killian? I just don't like it at all. I don't either. They seemed awfully coy and a bit dismissive. Though this... The fact that the Storm King isn't even... You said this room was clear, right? Yeah, uh, no scrying, no one, no anything. Well, the fact that the Storm King isn't even here, and that apparently, what did he say? His daughter is the de facto or in interim leader is... I'm not sure what to make of it. Well, I'm, I'm just hoping we might get some answers. If if they're honest with us, I uh, I don't have any reason to believe that they would be. Mm. Well, that makes me wonder how aware are they of everything going up on the surface? Because they were all together, all different kinds of giants. Theoretically, they, they, I don't know, be at war with each other with the ordning shattered? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It's almost, it's almost like they're isolated down here. Like they don't know what's going on. Exactly. How are you getting a good look at that door? Is this door locked? <laughs> the door itself is not locked, unless you lock it yourself. Yep, uh, What's up? Viltatus learned that it was just teleportation magic on those conches, right? Yes. We still have those, right? The conches? Yeah. I think we should. You we should. Still... Okay. I was about Thank to say God they didn't fucking search us. <laughs> I mean, I mean that's the thing. If things it, it, if things end up going tits up and we need to go to another location, like if we're on another level, we'll just try and blow them and just reset back to the room. Something like that. They're pretty large. <laughs> and they're also very distinct. They're gonna know how we got them. Do we have the chest on us that we can put them back in? I don't oh god. Know. How big was that chest, by the way? Pretty big enough big, to I hold think. three conches? It was a... I thought it was a dimension box or something. Yeah, but it was also in possession of uh, the one queen who's a giant. Oh. Yeah, the cloud giant Ooh. queen. <laughs> Never mm. mind. Everything we murdered the shit out of her. Huge. We murdered her. We didn't murder her, all things considered. We defended ourselves. That is true. We defended ourselves I'm, violently. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure these giants would honestly care. But, you know. But then again, it doesn't seem like they... Based on the ordning, from what we've learned, 
they should have been in they should stay in a hierarchical structure if they don't know the ording has been shattered we could use that to our advantage for one and for two we can automatically assume that the other giants in here probably can't do anything unless the storm giants say so gonna do <laughs> serious viltatus <laughs> okay so Uh, what what if Harshnag would have would have told me about giant demeanor, right? They like what which of those giants would have attacked us immediately on site normally? <laughs> well, uh, you know Viltaras. Uh, oh, she stay away from those hill giants, of course. A frost giant would be more likely to hunt you down for sport. That's for sure. Um, a fire giant would like to duel you. A cloud giant, giant would like to toy with you. A storm giant wouldn't want to get its hands dirty. Storm giants. Storm giants don't want to get their hands dirty. Ah, maybe that's why they're so isolated. They'd just rather not be involved. Honestly, Though, I don't blame them. If Danzan is correct, and these giants don't know about the Ordening being shattered, how long have they been here? Mayhaps too long. Uh, before I let you run down this route, uh, you aren't entirely sure if they don't know. However, even Harshnag knew that the Ordnance was broken. It, it should be pretty common knowledge. They probably just don't care or want to get involved. <sighs> they might not. Because they were all they were all just hanging out. Like, nothing was... You know, like, like they weren't fighting for position. Maybe they like it broken. Mm -hmm. Bill taught us. Make an intelligence check for me, please. Uh, 21 <clears throat> Giant culture is such a pain Will Taurus, really <laughs> They always come bothering the storm giants to figure out all the problems They're always here in court trying to talk to the king no matter what. Of course you have the people who try to take things into their own hands and they're even worse. <laughs> Could you even imagine? that they're here because they don't know what to do? Well, if they don't know what to do, why are they sitting around listening to music? I think they'd want to get to the bottom of the issue and at least debate. You know nothing about getting to the bottom of issues. That's exactly what I would do if I had problems. <laughs> Ignore them? It, yeah, <laughs> you would. And that's why we have a psychotic... Uh, ex-best friend who's an undead claw trying to kill us? This checks out and for both Harrow and Eric. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> and now we got this cat! Mr. Binks can handle himself. Squints at Mr. Binks. The thing is, are we really going to trust them with actually meeting with us and discussing things. I got a bigger question for you, Killian. Do we have any other choice at this point? I'm more concerned about the missing king. I've got an even bigger question. What if the He's daughter still... overthrew him and then Maybe that... banished him or something? 
Maybe the giants upstairs are loyal to the daughter. Not the Storm King, which is... Hmm. My head hurts. Yeah, you and me both. Maybe we should just get some rest until they come and get us. <sighs> I have a bad feeling. I can't sleep here. Well... Maybe not sleep, but, you know, at least lie down. Killian will sort of... lean up against his bed, take his flame tongue off of his back, and just... uh... have it. Mr. Binks will not leave you alone. Hello, Mr. Binks. I don't like it here either. Is that yeah. <laughs> now? I need to know what is he saying? <laughs> yeah, Killian is just is pretending to know what he's saying. <laughs> are we in danger? I thought we were in danger. Why are we here? This room is small. Why are we here? <laughs> I don't like it here either, Mr. Binks. <laughs> but. Well, I suppose this is our only option for now. Parker kind of <laughs> sweats <laughs> and looks like Killian. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you can speak cat? I have a good understanding with Mr. Binks. You do? I think so. We've grown a connection over our short time together. Cricket looks back over at Mr. Binks. <laughs> Mr. Binks kind of looks at Cricket and just kind of, are we in danger? <laughs> <laughs> she responds. That's right, I have no Mr. idea what Binks. you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know he doesn't know. She responds. That's right, no, Mr. Right. Binks. We'll be okay. No, not right now, but in feline. <laughs> and Harrow, you're okay with just sitting around? Yep. I'm not. I do want to go explore this place, but that guy is like right outside. I don't want to get on bad terms if we have a potential to not be on bad terms. It would be nice to... Okay, I'm not going to say that in character. It would be nice, you know, not to kill another leader of an entire group of people yeah. again. I... <laughs> I don't think anybody upstairs would be happy if they found out what we did to their home. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to mention any of them. Yeah, if they find these shells on us, though, we can put two and two together. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe we should hide them somewhere. Such as... Here? They can't even get in this room. They're too big. Ah, uh, I, I, I would wonder then if any of them has the uh, enlarge or reduce spell so they could get in here. Or if any of them have any uh, slaves or servants that are small folk sized. Uh, you know. Wait. The fact that they even have a room for small folk is strange. It's a good sign, technically. Maybe this isn't a trap after all. Uh, can I look around the room? Does this room look used in any fashion? Uh, let's see. What details do I have? It looks clean. Um, it doesn't really look used. Uh, 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 they probably don't come in here all that often. There is a little bit of dust. 
Okay. Safe to say from at least a little bit of dust, I don't think they have too many... Well, if they have smaller folk here, they're definitely not using these rooms. Oh, I wonder who cleans it. The crabs? A tiny little crab, kind of like... With a shuffles. feather duster. <laughs> he scuttles around. Does he have a feather duster? Oh, whoops. No, he does not have a little feather duster, but he kind of unearths himself from uh, the ground and kind of scuttles <laughs> underneath the door. Ah. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. So I guess we're just passing time until, uh, yeah. Or unless an exorbitant amount of time passes. Uh, not too much time passes. But, uh, let's see, what can I do? Okay. You hear footsteps. And you can make out the faint sounds of them talking. Oh boy, I want to go uh, put my ear to the door. They are mm. talking in giant. Curses, Viltatus! Hey, Vili! Yes? Go, go listen to the door, they're saying stuff. By the way, take this D10 phobotic inspiration for checks you may have to make. Thank you. Do I know enough giants to uh, decipher this? Here. That's are... my spell sheet. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Here are the key words that I can give you. <clears throat> Assassins. Let's see. Ambush. Protect and the name Sarisa. Oh boy. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> well, I think they assume we're assassins. Something about an ambush. Something about protecting someone named Sarisa. Probably the third older sister. Younger. Oh. The youngest oh. sister? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. Ho ho. Sure enough, you kind of hear more shuffling, more large steps. What do you do in this moment? Well, we have one of two options. We can either one, take them at their word, and hope that we actually get a court scene with Sarisa, or B, we walk out of the room, uh, make ourselves targets, and kill ourselves trying to kill everything in here. Unless we want to try and sneak all the way to Sarisa, which even then, I don't know what we would do. Does Sarisa have... Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to see.
Okay. Maybe you should go check that out. Me? Tell you? Can I? How how stealthily can I open this door? Um, make a stealth check. Um, 16. How do you have a 13 on stealth? <laughs> Why did I only get a 16? Because <laughs> you rolled low. I've been rolling like shit all night, what? so welcome to the club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you turn the knob and you turn it as you're hearing more footsteps. So you're able to kind of just peek out into the corner. Uh, what you can see is the back of a storm giant from this corner. You might have to go a little bit closer if you want to see what else is happening in here. What? Is this close enough? No. <laughs> Come on, bro, do the big sneak. Have a now. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Commit to the five foot step. <laughs> If you're gonna stay right there, I'll make you make a perception check instead. <laughs> sure. And sure enough, what you see in the room are all the giants from upstairs. Oh. You can see both of the sisters kind of talking to these four giants here who don't look very happy but also they don't seem like they're putting up a fight or they're excited or anything it's just kind of sad oh no they found out about our war crimes <laughs> oops Wait, 27 just, perception huh they're just sad wouldn't you be sad? The fire giant kind of lets out a... Oh, they're all talking giant. Excuse me. Um, you know, I'm really good at reading faces, though. <laughs> she looks upset and she gives a small outburst to the other giants. But then the frost giant kind of puts a hand on her shoulder and kind of shakes his head. She shrugs away his hand and kind of gets in his face. But then the stone giant shoots her a stone cold look and she stands down for now. The cloud giant is also kind of like lost in thought. Based on this, Harrow, you can tell that they really don't want to be here. So none of them want to be here. Does it seem like they are they want that other guy to be back? Kind of hard to insight that in particular from the situation. All right, that's fair. Well... I guess I would go back and tell everybody. We're in deep shit. <laughs> Are we in deep shit? We're Based deep. on what you said, it just sounded like there's a an inner conflict. Yeah, we don't technically know anything, so... Yeah. 
beyond given the, the extent keywords. of yeah our history they not sure they seem defeated like they've given up and they don't know what to do exactly that makes me wonder did they put us in here because they wanted to entreat us or because they're afraid of us if they know number two if they know all the things that we did, maybe they're second-guessing things. I did forget to tell you this, Harrow. Um, both the sisters look very smug with themselves. Oh, okay. So maybe they... did this. <laughs> I could literally just go out and ask them if everything's okay. Yeah, I think we haven't schmoozed in like a while. Yeah, we haven't schmoozed. <laughs> I mean, no, no, for real though. It's like, we're not here as prisoners. We're not here. We, we've made our intentions very clear. They Have didn't. We? Yeah, yes. <sighs> I, I didn't roll any deception. I um, have a bad feeling that little crab was a spy. <laughs> spy! <laughs> Oh god, it's a spy crab! <laughs> it was Hecaton all along. Would anyone object to me going out and just asking? Go for it. No. The worst case scenario is we have to fight everyone. Okay, I just I don't wanna I don't wanna act out of, you know, group consensus. Uh dance it's gonna just softly creak creak the door open, not trying to be a front or anything and just step out. Ah, <laughs> uh, is everything all right? Little one, we were just about to call for you all to join us. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll get my companions then. You have been summoned for a meeting with Sarisa. Oh. Uh, I guess that's good news then. Okay, okay, uh, one moment. Guys, we uh, gotta go see Sarita! Oh, let's go! <laughs> she puts keep things in the backpack. Also, let's let's keep all of our hands off our weapons too, uh, you know. Quality. They might relieve us of our weapons. They can't uh, they do that. Ah, uh, they very me. much can. They very <laughs> much can. Oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Wait, aren't you... Oh, maybe we shouldn't... Maybe you shouldn't, uh... Grab the thing you attuned to. I'm attuned to two things. I think it could only be attuned to one. Nope, two. Eldritch oh. Knights can attune to more. That's no, that is not Sarisa. Excuse me, get rid of that. <laughs> oh god, she was the crab the whole time! <laughs> can I just say Mr. Binks is with me, but I put him in the wall. <laughs> oh. Wow, him him a new trick? <laughs> I know where we can keep Mr. Binks. I cast Stone Shape and... <laughs> 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 oh. God, it really is like, I'm sorry, John. <laughs> So you're coming out and following this storm giant? Uh, yeah? yeah? I don't know, I guess so. I'm gonna look as awesome. non-threatening as possible. Is it working? <laughs> oh god, oh, now we're inside each other. <laughs> giant turned around. You come out and you can see Everyone there that was up in the Grand Hall. <clears throat> you thought you could be so clever. We know an assassin when we see one. And you have forced our hands. Miram snaps her fingers. Ooh, bad time.
the giants look at each other and they start to approach you. Oh, now wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on here. Have you all forget? Do you all even know that the awning up above is completely destroyed? And that all of your people are warring with each other? Causing mayhem and chaos, not just to the small folk that you seem to not care about at all, but to you, to each other in your homes. What were you going to do about it? What were any of you going to do about it? We were charged to come here to try and help set things right. And yes, maybe we did have to do a thing or two in order to get here. But do you, do you really believe you have the right? Or is this all just some kind of three ring circus to all of you? Yeah, get your shit together. I, uh, <laughs> slow face palms. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> they came here doing what they knew to do. It is not the fault of them and their kingdoms that their own kind are causing their own problems trying to refix the ordning in some unshapely manner. Um, Dan Zan, make a charisma check, please. Oh, boy. You should really shove it to them and say, what would your father think of this? <laughs> I'm, that's the next line. That is the next line. If I was more charismatic, that's I would 14. shout it out. But I'm not. <laughs> Flash of genius? Please! 18? Dan Zan. Yeah. <laughs> Though the frost giants, the fire giants, and the cloud giants keep approaching, you notice Wait. the stone giant is wavering a little bit. Ooh. Can I do jazz hands? Like the Will Smith Can I pose? roll char charisma to see if my speech worked? Towards. <laughs> I, I counted your speech towards Dan Zan's performance. <laughs> and then <laughs> That's not fair to Dan Zan. And then what of the dog Kong, huh? What of what of what of the leader, this lich, who's sowing even more chaos? What do you plan to do about them? He ins he specifically instructed us to come here in order to break down the court, so to speak, to cause even more chaos. But that's not why we were here. We were here on a diplomatic mission. From the very spirit of Hang on, let me scroll back. <laughs> Egron or something. <laughs> it was, but but they were they were all storm giants, weren't they? The uh the kid, um, cloud, cloud. <laughs> points at points at the points at the cloud giant. Your kin asked us to come here to try and set things straight. You kind of hear him mutter underneath his breath. The name is familiar, but there are plenty of cloud giant kingdoms. <laughs> but the fact that we knew that name by name, shouldn't that say something? <laughs> the frost giant kind of laughs to himself. But you hear the stone giant call out, You spoke with the dot com? We did. Yeah, he... Gave the special touch to one of our friends. He turned me into a rock. <laughs> and we're here on his behalf as well. Not Dodd Kong's, our friends. Let me clarify that. <sighs> the stone giant didn't takes kill us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just going to make a really important point. It's not at all. Continue. <laughs> <coughs> but what if you could be in danger? What about Sarisa? If the Don Kong spoke to them, think nothing of it. You are to kill them. The Don Kong no do. The Dodd Kong knows. The Dodd Kong knows this entire situation. That's why he's sending small folk in. To try and break the court up and kill whoever's on top. It's true. The Dodd Khan hasn't acted in many centuries at this Her point. He says Her the flame giant. 
and Har- the stone giant acts up. It's like, no, a Dodd Kong is awake. He is trying to move in. He's going to get what he wants. <laughs> you speak lies. He does listen to him. We didn't hit a start of fight. It's the last thing on our minds. We've spent months and months trying to find a way to come here to try and help set things right. Now you can either take our olive branch and take us at our word, or you could completely ignore us, just like every other giant has. Every other giant has, says the frost giant. Tell me. Were you the ones who were on an iceberg not too long ago? Hurt. <laughs> Cricket says nothing. Yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> so you're the one who took the head of the Jarl, Storvald. <laughs> and Chief Gar. And Duke Zalto. <laughs> So oh, please guys upstairs, excuse me. <laughs> if you want to try. We did what we did for our people and for the sake of that poor kid's ghost to try and set things right while everything lies in chaos. You leave only a trail of blood behind you, and now you are here for Cerise's head, our dear little sister. That is complete lies. I'd love to see you try and prove that. I don't know. I, I think we've been pretty open. Anything. You bear down on us, and I promise you it's going to be the last mistake you ever made. We you came here. Me. We came here as diplomats. We followed your orders. We sat in that room for hours on end. We're the ones playing softball here. You're the one stepping up to bat to try and swing hard. You can make one last charisma check. Oh, boy. The dogs are barking. Oh, boy. (laughs) Here it goes. 25. The stone giant stands down. The frost giant. Absolutely formidable, aren't you? <laughs> this is not my fight. Dan Dan will nod with equal respect. <laughs> Fire giant and the cloud giant. Stand in your way. The storm giants stand ready to strike you. And Miram calls for more guards. Boy. In which case, I would probably say, roll for initiative, see you next week. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we tried. Well, we got some of them off. Uh, 12. It was a worthy endeavor, Danzan. I did my best. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're. Oh, this is Killian. This is Killian. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Just, <laughs> just also writing sure. it on my list. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. We'll we'll know we'll know that it's Viltatus because. Oh, because yeah. it's got oh, yeah. what the fuck? twenty. <laughs> 20. 20. Also, we should probably, uh, when Arkoff does get back, we should probably let him redo his spells because I I doubt he would have picked the ones that I picked. Probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, my goodness. And he gets to start off initiative at this point. Unless they're all higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> but... Yes, uh, it looks like you're about to enter into aggression, and it seems like more guards may be on the way. So your goal for next week is to either fight your way through or escape. I mean, if we escape, they'll just pursue us. 
So uh, w escape to where? also yeah what? yeah also <laughs> how are we going to do that? <laughs> Just run into every room screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, outrun the giants that are three times our size with longer strides. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Willie, where can they find you? They can find the Willy Boo at the Willy Boo. Fun posting online and hope you brought the Stein room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fun posting over on Twitter. I don't really have too much going on right now, but more stuff will be on the way. Uh, so check out my stuff on the DM skill for the time being. Heck yeah. Connor, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube.com slash Distortion Double, where I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, be sure to check out Dead House Sonata. Uh, just reached the, their playable tech demo. Be sure to check that out. And also check out my DMs Yield, where fairly shortly here, actually, uh... Uh, I should be releasing the Warpath Barbarian. Uh, yes. Woo! Either, either tonight or tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Oh, it's very late in the night. Eh, I'll probably wait for tomorrow, but I'll just get, I'll just get all the assets set up. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Gaijin, where can they find you? Find me at twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba this Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh... Capcom pulled me aside and was like, hey, do you want a free copy of the PC game and do this big hunathon thing that we we're, we're, we got going on? And I'm like, yeah. Basically how that works, for anyone who drops two gifted subs, uh, they just give you DLC, uh, whether it be a costume or a voice pack or something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure what they send, uh, but I think that's pretty solid. All things considered. For those of you um, who are curious about that, by the way, I did post it in my Discord server in announcements yesterday with all of the details. So if you're curious about that, it's right there. So now you know where there is a good link to do it. Do you, I was about to say, do you want me to drop it in chat? Or yeah, go for it. Just, okay, I got to dig it out. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, new videos that are coming out. Oh, here we go. Uh, speaking of Monster Hunter Rise, uh, I've got a new Rise video coming out. Uh... Probably not this weekend, but maybe Tuesday. Oh, there we go. Um, over the beach at Uh, seems like a silly little th fruit throwing monkey monster, right? Well, there's 17 pages of folklore and fantasy that this thing pulls from, and it's it, it's a lot. Uh, it's gonna be 17 minute long video. Be sure to check that out. It's gonna be a heck of a lot of fun. Hell yeah. Um, and then Eric, where can they find you? They all know they can find me saying stupid shit right here every Thursday. It's, yeah, not all of it's stupid. Yeah. Only some of it sometimes. Occasionally. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> oh, yeah, shucks, no problem. Um, as for me, uh, da -da -da -da, tomorrow's Friday. I don't know what I'm streaming tomorrow. Yeah. Probably knowing my luck uh, and my current addiction. With battle royales, it'll probably be more Fortnite. I'm sorry, guys. I know. The majority of you are all like, "Ew, Fortnite, gross," and I'm just like, "I'm sorry. It's what I'm in the mood for." I just love battle royales, okay? And I can't play Warzone because it's owned by Activision Blizzard, and they're the worst. Play... I know Epic's not great either, but they're. You, but you could play Naraka hmm. and play and play play Weeb version of 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 Fortnite <coughs> that has big swords. Mm, I'll think about Maybe it. Night. Uh, but I like shooting things. He's like, mm, I'm there gonna go are, play Fortnite after this. There <laughs> are guns. They're just, you know, not regular guns. Uh. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> that point. Duncan Rufa really is still on for this upcoming Monday. Uh, and then next Friday, I'm getting my my eyes lasered. So the following Monday after that. This is confusing. This is too much information for people. But. <laughs> That one will probably be postponed or something. So, um, yeah. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. You're all super great and super supportive yeah. and amazing. And as always, goodbye, everyone. Goodbye for now. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to evil laugh. <laughs> 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 All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>